After Omni-Man tells Alan the biggest secret of the Viltrumite people, he goes with Alan to the headquarters of the Coalition of Planets as he meets the leader of the Coalition named Thetis, who has a mixed reaction to the news that there's only 50 Viltrumites left in the universe. Thetis tells Omni-Man that he's also a Viltrumite, which Nolan doesn't believe, as he challenges him to rip his beard off, which seems to be a custom among undercover Viltrumite agents, but Thetis tells him that Alan can vouch for him since he really doesn't want to rip his beard out again because it does still hurt. Nolan is almost relieved to learn this since he thought something was genetically wrong with him since he never heard of another Viltrumite betraying their people. But Theta says that his story was hidden from time because his crime is something that no other Viltrumite should ever know of. During this meeting, Alan, Thetis, and Nolan start to discuss how they're going to bring the Empire to its end, and they realize that they're going to need weapons and other specific things that Nolan has come across that he knows can hurt Viltrumites. But more importantly, they're going to need a team. From this moment on, Nolan and Alan are given one hour to raid the secret armory for whatever they need, as they're given a secret mission to assemble a team to go to war against the Viltrumites, as Omni-Man knows exactly who he wants to recruit. 